is it harmful to try to stop someone on the autism spectrum from stimming? Short answer, yes. Let me explain why. Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Lyons. I teach parents the cutting edge science of autism so that you can make the best decision for your child based on quality information. Stimming is a shortened way of saying self-stimulatory behavior. Think of stimming as behavior that's used to communicate. Stimming can mean the person is happy or overwhelmed or bored, scared, mad, annoyed, just about anything else. Think back to when you were a child and you were told to be quiet. Sometimes it might have been appropriate. Say you were in a movie theater and you were talking because you were so excited and happy to be in the movie theater and having popcorn and you know all the fun stuff and your parents told you, be quiet. That seems to be appropriate. Think back to when something wonderful happened to you and you were jumping around so excited and your parent told you to quiet down. They just didn't want to hear about why you were so happy. They only wanted you to be quiet. That hurt, right? Think about that question again. Is it harmful to try to stop someone on the autism spectrum from stimming? Hopefully now you can see the answer clearly. We all want to feel heard and understood. We want to be able to express ourselves, whether we're happy or sad or mad, whatever the emotion is, we want to be able to express it. And for those with autism, stimming sometimes is done as a way to communicate those emotions. You can really start to understand so much about that person with autism when you pay attention to their stims. And you can actually use stimming as a way to connect. Now, the one caveat is if the stim is harmful to the person or it limits them from experiencing life. In those cases, teach the person with autism a way to redirect the harmful stim to a safe stim. For example, headbanging when angry. For example, headbanging when angry. This could be redirected to so many things like stomping the feet or punching a pillow or whatever stim they would prefer. Stimming is a way of communicating, so you definitely don't want to just stop your child with autism from stimming, but at times you might want to redirect it in a way that is less disruptive, but still allows them to communicate. You want that win-win for everybody. Start to notice the different ways your child uses stimming as a way of communicating. It's a great way to start connecting with your child. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel to get the cutting edge scientific information about autism so that you can make the best decision for your child based on quality information.